Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Uh, it is a Thursday, Uncle Tubsy, yeah. the 9th of Jan. We're nine days the in. The 9th of Jan. Can you cope with that? It feels like we just started. We were just like having New Year's Day, New Year's Eve just yesterday. Yeah. yeah. And you know what's better than New Year's? What? News. <laughs> Sometimes it's fake though. <laughs> I was, I was pulling you in there. But right now it's time to see what is real and what is fake. All right, colleagues, you know the, the rules of the game. Mm. I'm going to read you two news stories, mm. and uh, you need to decipher which one is real mm. and which one is fake. And I can Ooh. promise you we've got some very, very hectic uh, headlines this morning. Yeah, so. It's never easy to tell. I, I, uh, sometimes I'm like, both is real, both is fake. <laughs> like, oh, whatever. Is fake. Jamie, you're way too nervous right now. Relax a little. All right, here we go. Uh, wait. This just in. In our very first news story of the morning, a TV reporter wins the lottery live on air and dramatically quits her job. Oh, what? Yes? Coming in now, live news uh, telling us that... Yes, yes, Tom, I hear you. Yes. A Chicago man spent half of his $72 million lottery winnings on comic books and he goes broke in one year. Hmm. All right. Which one is where? real? He lives where? In Chicago. Chicago. Okay. Which one is real? Likely is story. Oh, I think. What do you think, Jamie Lee? I think the first one's real because I would do that. I would quit my job and be like, bye, Felicia's. Right there. Oh, yes. Yeah, just like yes. uh, And the second one is yeah. probably fake. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think so too. I mean, yeah. if I, I played the lotto and if my phone went off now <laughs> and I saw the message, it's good night <laughs> and God bless. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Anyway, here's the real headline. A Spanish news reporter did, in fact, quit her job <laughs> after winning the lottery on air. However, only after she had quit uh, did she realize that her share of the winnings only totaled the disappointing $5,000. No! Hey, but wait. We don't know how much she's getting paid there by the TV news station also. It could be one. Because that $5,000 could be a really good amount worthy of... Good morning, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't feeling so well yesterday. Yeah, just happened, yeah. you know, just being dramatic. Oh, right, sometimes sometimes all you need is the $5,000 <laughs> to set you up. That would have been the most amazing quit. Oh, wow. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. A bank robber threw stolen money in the air and wished everyone a Merry Christmas. Oh, another story? <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, house robbery goes wrong when thieves got distracted by cute puppies. Which one is real? Which one is fake? You can go first. Ladies first. Okay. Um, I, oh, those puppies. Look at those faces. Obviously, <laughs> that is true. Like, I would get distracted by that. So, like, obviously. And then the first one is fake. Mm. So, I think that they got distracted by okay. puppies. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think if you're a robber, you're not going to let puppies distract you. So, I think that's fake. And the one about the bank robber throwing money up in the air and saying exactly. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. It sounds, sounds true. All right. Hey. Well, here's the real headline. According to reports, an American man robbed a small bank, took the money, and immediately threw it in the air while wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Bystanders grabbed the money and returned it to the cashiers <laughs> while the robber waited at the coffee shop next door for the police. What? That sounds like a prank. That sounds like, like, like a, what a movie on gone earth? Bad. That like, sounds like a PR stunt. Right? For that bank, it possibly could be. Yeah. Anyway, oh wow, guys, wait, wait. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you another headline. A woman faints as a hairdresser chops off 30 centimeters of hair without telling her. <laughs> There's another story. A woman shoes a salon after the beautician accidentally waxes off her entire oh. eyebrow. <laughs> Which one is real? Which one is fake? Oh, oh, the thing is, both could happen, and they happen, I'm sure, every day. Um, okay, so ladies first. Okay, I would legit sue the. I would just like I was gonna say what? something else, but like the eyebrow. <laughs> if you draw my eyebrow and then I have to draw my eyebrow on for the next year, no, I would sue you. So that is real. And the other one, like your hair can go back. You can get a weed, you can get a wig. So I would go with that That's one. Not too bad. Have you not seen the ladies just wax their things? <laughs> Princess, I think, has waxed her eyebrows <laughs> off and she's drawn it on. No, maybe. No, I well, double check. I don't but think. I think. That the <laughs> true story. You know, so, Princess is gonna put something in your coffee, right? Like, I'm gonna have a look now just to verify. Anyway, and I mean yeah. nothing bad about it. Your verdict. Uh, but I think true is the fainting over the chopped hair. Okay. Is, well, uh, here's the real headline on a Turkish reality makeover show. A model was left devastated when a hairdresser suddenly chopped off 30 centimeters of her hair without telling her. She was so distraught that she fainted in the arms of her fellow co uh, contestants. Right there, just. Ah. <laughs> Can we also say that it was, it was a reality show, so she probably did it for like 
views and she was like, oh, I'm going to faint. Oh, possibly. Yeah. Question though, have you guys ever had a real bad experience with, with hair or a hairdresser? Mm. No? Yeah, no, I have. <laughs> Why are you pointing at your like? Is this a result of a bad experience? Friend, did you not see that I had pink hair that one time for like a week? Was, was that not intentional? Was that not the plan? So it, it, it really wasn't the plan. Like my friend Wait, and I wait, 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 like... wait. Everybody, <laughs> no. pull out the chair. D no. Do tell. So my friend and I were just like, listen, let's try and get it lighter because I wanted to go like a lighter process. And then we just put on hair and then it just went like neon pink wow. and I was like, let's just rock it because it was a Sunday it evening. Worked. So It was a Sunday evening. People Can you imagine? It was a Sunday evening, so there's wow. nothing to do. Monday I had to report like, welcome to your feel good breakfast yeah. show, everybody with I was pink like, hair. Wow. Jamie Harlequin is on yeah, set. I thought, there wow. She's and then I just brilliant. went black the next week because I was like, because people were like, okay, we like it, it's trendy. I was yeah, like, okay, let's yeah. just keep it for the week. Yeah. And then the week was done. I was like, let's just go. It was back. perfectly timed for that game insert we shot together for Christmas because. Ah, absolutely. You know, yeah. What about what about you, Tubbsy? Uh, uh, are you still having a fight with that barber who made your hairline recede? <laughs> no, he's no. gone. Okay, he, he's he's cancelled now. But my join us yeah, next week yeah, for yeah. another round of fake <laughs> news. <laughs>